This month, Pride is taking center stage, and people have a lot of different ideas about what Pride is. But the focus of this video is what the Bible defines Pride as. We're going to look at some characters in the Bible who had Pride and what the consequences of that Pride was. So let's get started. First, let's look at what the definition of pride is. So pride of the Bible is defined as self-absorption. It is being so involved with yourself that you stop seeking God. Pride is also the lack of humility. When you elevate yourself to the level of God, or even if you just elevate yourself above other people, you're being prideful. Pride is also taking credit for what God has done in our lives. When we look to ourselves as our own savior, when we look to ourselves and say, you know, I did this, I built this empire, I did all of these things without recognizing that God gave you everything you needed to do that, well, then you are dealing with pride. In the pride of his face, the wicked does not see him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. Psalm 10:4. So here are some biblical examples of pride. The biggest example was when Satan was cast out of heaven. How you were fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn. How you were cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. Above the stars of God, I will set my throne on high. I will sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to Sheol, to the far reaches of the pit. Isaiah 14, 12 through 15. Another example of pride is when King Nebuchadnezzar lost his mind. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of 12 months, he was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. And the king answered and said, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built by my mighty power as a royal residence and for the glory of my majesty? While the words were still in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven. O King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken. The kingdom has departed from you and you shall be driven from among men, and your dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and you shall be made to eat grass like an ox, and seven periods of time shall pass over you, until you know that the Most High rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom he will. Immediately the word was fulfilled against Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from among men and ate grass like an ox, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven, until his hair grew as long as eagle's feathers, and his nails were like bird's claws. Daniel 4, 28 through 33. Now, if you're finding benefit in this video so far, I'm gonna ask you to go down, nail that like button so that other people like you can find this video. Thank you so much, let's keep going. Third example of pride in the Bible is the pride of the Pharisees. You see, they elevated themselves to the position of God's high priest or uh, to teachers that knew more than everyone else. And so while they didn't elevate themselves to God's level, they still elevated themselves above all the people they were supposed to serve. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I get, but the tax collector standing far off would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Luke 18, nine through 14. So here are some of the consequences of pride. The first consequence is pride will ultimately lead you to fall away from God. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. It is better to be of lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. Proverbs 16, 18 through 19. The proud will also not receive grace. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. 1 Peter 5, 5. And finally, God will destroy the proud. I will rise up against them, declares the Lord of hosts, and will cut them off from Babylon, name and remnant, descendants and posterity declares the Lord. I will make it a possession of the hedgehog and pools of water and I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, declares the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 14, 22. So here are some steps to overcoming pride. First, confess your sin to God as found in 1 John 1, 9. And God will continue to humble you until you are stripped of your pride. 
as found in Philippians 1.6. Then you should seek to understand God and His grace, 1 Corinthians 15.10. And understand you can do nothing apart from God, 1 Corinthians 4.7. And you should continually praise God for all that He has done for you, Psalms 34.1. So, by doing these things, you can finally let go of pride, embrace humility, and become the person God has intended for you to be. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Let me say a prayer for you right now. Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, I pray for this viewer right now. I ask that you would come down, you would put your grace on them, Lord, and that you would begin to humble them. Lord, if there is any pride in their heart, sweep it away. Father, I just pray that you would make them more into your image. Lord, and that by watching these videos and reading your word, that they would become more like Christ, that you would continue to sanctify them, Father. For And if there is anyone, anyone watching this video who does not know you, Lord, I ask that you would bring them to you, Lord, hold them close, that they may come to an understanding of who you are. Father, I thank you so much for this viewer, and I ask for their blessing in Jesus' heavenly name. Amen. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would, give this video a like if you found it helpful. That way other people who might find it helpful can find it and share it with your friends. Let them know that, hey, if you got an issue with pride, there is a way to humble yourself. And finally, go down, leave me a comment below. Let me know what kind of prayers do you need? Um, do you wanna communicate something with me? Would you like to see a certain video in the future? Go down, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, God bless.